uh, I don't know how familiar the board is with the, the site, but it's a, it's a long, narrow site. This is this is Clark Road right here. And it's a long. This is the site right here. And, and there's an existing. Currently, there's an existing house. Here's the house, and there's a, a garage here. And what they have, what they have now, is they existing septic system is in the backyard. They what appeared to me to be a thousand gallon tank, and then beyond that is a pit. And the wetlands, I mean, when you're standing in the backyard, you can look right in the woods and you can see the wetlands right there that were in the water for the wetlands. And so anyway, what I'm kind of the point is the pit structure that they have is essentially in the water table. So the new design is going to have a 1,500-gallon septic tank, which is obviously a watertight unit. It will flow via gravity to a 1,000-gallon pump chamber. Then it's going to be pumped up this incline to these this is the soil absorption system. And this yellow line right here that I have here in yellow is the actual wetland line. I'm not a botanist, but I flagged the line and I, I contacted the uh, um, conservation agent and asked her if that was okay. She said it was. So she since um, checked the line. This pink line right here is the 25 foot offset. And this blue line is the 50 foot offset. So where we're proposing to do the work is in the, essentially would be like in the 50 to 100 buffer zone for the new system. And there's a little bit of a small amount of proposed grading that's gonna be in the 25 to 50. In addition to the septic, uh, uh, new septic system is what they're proposing to do is where this, there's an existing garage right here that's on a slab. And uh, my client, is going to put a uh, proposed uh, one bedroom uh, unit on that, and that will also be tied into the septic system. And the house is currently a three bedroom house, and when all is said and done, it's still gonna be a three bedroom house. I guess they're gonna reconfigure the interior of the house, so it's essentially still gonna be a three bedroom house. It's gonna went out, went out increasing the flow or anything. So I did the soil testing. There's my soil marks, and I have the uh, uh, reason to witness and everything by, uh, by, by Larry, the Board of Health agent. And we, I kind of figured we would have a high water table, which we did. So this system, um, um, what I'm doing, what I did here is I used these flat panels. I don't know if you're familiar with those Caltex, they're only eight and a half inches tall. And what, that, what I was trying to do with that is I was trying to keep as much separation of groundwater as I possibly could. And that's, uh, that's, so that's basically all the septic design. But with regard to the uh, conservation, the reason for the filing is because we're in the buffer zone. So I really, as you can see from the configuration of the lot, I really had no really no place else to put it. If I put it in the backyard, I'd be essentially in the wetland. So this would be the only place we had to work. Right over here. Well, before we hear the agent's report, just a couple of points for clarification. You mentioned the pit. Was that uh, an open pit or was it enclosed somehow? I wasn't sure what you meant. You said oh, you discovered a pit. Yeah, there was a, there was a uh, what looked to me like a thousand an existing thousand gallon tank here in the backyard. Yeah, and it looked like beyond that was a pit. I didn't dig it up and inspect it, but there was a cover there. Oh, and okay, something. All right. Yeah, it, and and that would in a pit is obviously it's a tall structure. Typically, they're like six feet tall, mm -hmm. and that thing had to be in the groundwork because you can see that when, we, when you're standing in the backyard, when you're looking out into the wetland, you can see like pockets of standing mm -hmm. water, and you can see all the. Say the agent verified your flags. Uh, to who, who are you speaking? Conservation. Yeah, but which one? Uh, Nancy Yates. That's the one I can think. Don't think so. Yeah, that's <laughs> me. Was it? I was out there Thursday. How, how long ago? Yeah. How long ago? What? Was this done? Was what the flood flagging? Yeah. Um, a couple, three months ago. A couple, maybe three months ago. And these are, these right, are, but you just filed. I mean, are, the first time I went out there was Thursday, and I called you to say to draw these lines on the plan because mm -hmm. it was very, you didn't have the 50 foot, um, mm -hmm. you didn't have the 25 foot. I mean, I need to say that what you're doing is what you're supposed to do, and you're moving that out of mm -hmm. as far away as you can get. But I have to tell you, I, when I talked to you on the phone, I said that I thought that was a lot of fill out there. And I don't necessarily when agree you, with those well and flags. I'm you, sorry if you thought I said that, but. When you, when you say fill, you mean like fill, like transported, like. Leaves. Oh, that, that, I mean, that's. 
When they say fill, I think when you mean fill, they mean, you mean like soil. It's been, soil. It looks like it's slowly been filled in. I would say this wet line probably would follow more along like this instead of coming out around. It seems like right here there's a rock with some water. Yep, I saw that. I have some pictures. There's also a pipe that's sticking out that looks fairly new that's discharging into the wetland. Pipe you're talking about? Yeah, I didn't see this pipe. There it is. Did you go? I tried no. to call you to go look. Did I, I ask did, I you did to look. go look at yeah. it? Yeah. Did yeah. you go the out rock. in the back? Where on, where on the yeah. Nancy was the pipe? This is the rock I saw. Oh. I saw that when you when you're talking about where the jog where that where, where the, the where jog the is, is right yeah. down in here. Uh, but I can show you better on his plan. I think where the pipe is. Where's the house? Here's the house. I'm thinking it looks like that. right coming down. Pretty obvious. Right He's saying it's down here. So. A pipe sticking out that far. Yeah. That's in the woods. That's it. Right there. Yeah. You think it's like a it's sump pump pipe? Like a sump pump pipe or I something? I think it's a wash machine. Well, the washing machine would it would be hooked up to the new system anyway, guaranteed. I mean, maybe I don't know what the I don't know what they're doing now, but I can I can guarantee you that the that the this new system would certainly be able to accommodate a washing machine and whatever other facilities they're going to have, bathrooms and all that. What they're doing now, I don't, I don't, I don't know what they're right. doing. Right, I know you don't. That's, that's I, it was just my recommendation. But I that, that, will that, certainly, that, that will certainly be tied into the new system for sure. And my recommendation was I really thought the commissioners need to look at this. This seems to me to be a lot of material placed there that wasn't there before. It's, uh, like I say, I'm, I'm not, it seems like it just jigged where, where out you, around the, the rock this? with the water. This must be where the rock with the water yes, it is. Yes, it is. You know what that looks like to me? That looks like to me, there's like a little depression in the ground. That looks to me like like that tree fell over. So yeah, the tree but this all seems pretty well to me. I'm just saying I just would think that line would go straight across and not jig out conveniently uh, like that. And the, and the separate system, is it filled? Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, it's. I didn't like take it all apart and look at it, but it's it's uh, it's it's got to be a hydraulic failure, like I said, because the pit structure is where it from where it is, and where we're so and so close, such close proximity to the wetland. I didn't come back here and dig a hole with a machine, but I know that the groundwater is, is high here because, like I said, the wetland's right there. No, so I can pretty much. No one, no one tried doing a tidal drive on it. Hmm? This is the yeah. rock you're talking about. Yeah. You must have perks, right? Yeah, I did the perk. I did the perk test over here. Because like I said, I, I, I didn't want to do anything here because I mean, I, you know, I want to obviously stay as far away from the wetlands as I could. Down. So being that this is the configuration of the lot, it's long and skinny, I did the soil testing essentially as far away from the wetland as I could, which was up here close to the road. And I actually found good material. It was good, uh, nice uh, sandy material. Yeah, two minutes it, per inch. Yeah. It, was a, it was a high water table, yeah. Right, and actually, we actually certainly helped. want that to happen, but for the future, I, that once we do an order of conditions and say that's okay, we're basically saying the wet line is okay too, and I don't think it is. Well, when, when is this project to be built? As soon as it gets approved. I mean, you, you can you can work out there now with the ground closing and all. Well, not closing. The ground's not closing. Not closing. <laughs> all right. Not, not so the ground's not so closing. So um, what was when you, when you just said over here um, when we did the soil testing? It seems kind of surprising that we find sand and so close to wetland. Typically, when you have a wetland, the soil is usually lousy. That's why the wetland is there. But when we dug the test hole, we found all of these small, rounded stones. So I was talking with uh, Peter Fletcher. He's a soil scientist. He's mm -hmm. soil, 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 soil scientist. He was saying that this was probably like an ancient riverbed. So in other words, this must have been like a river here at one time, and all those stones it are It still around. is kind of a stream coming up yeah, from the top of Clark it's, Road. It's out it comes here, but across. It's out here, though, more in the, in the woods, though, isn't it, the stream? Well, it kind of comes along the back here. Well, in, in the woods, you can see like pockets right. of standing water, but I didn't yep. see any water flowing out there. No, it's flowing more up towards Clark Road. You can see that it kind of spreads out. Where's the, uh, is the pit shown on the plan, the existing yeah. pit? Oh, oh the, the existing the pit, pit, it's, pit, it would be, it would be maybe like right around that contour 15 right there. Is there any work proposed with this? That's going to be, that's going to be abandoned. Yeah, that's going to be abandoned according to the Title V uh, regs, which would be to take the cover off if there's any, any water and you pump it out. Yeah. And it's going to be, it's an open, it would be an open bottom structure and you're just, just going to fill it with sand and just leave it there. Well, Joe, will you pass those pitches out? back this oh, way, please? Okay. Is, is, is that, is that a pit that has received septic? 
up on the highway? It is now. It is. It's so currently. What, what, what do you do with the way you pump out? We just dump in the wood. No. Um, you, um, you just treat it just as you would uh, wastewater. In other words, when the pumper truck, they come, they'll pump out a septic tank or a pit or whatever, and then they bring it back to the uh, wastewater treatment plant, and they, they would treat it just with the rest of the wastewater. It's on the other pipe. It's in the, in the pit. That, that's the collar. Is, 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 is it like a backflow preventer? So if that does get water, does it go back the other way? I don't think so. You see how it's got more to it than Well, you had also said maybe it was roof drains, but that house is pretty old. It's funny that they would put in a new pipe for roof drains. That's actually and if it's a sub pump, Bob says it can't go into the septic system. So I guess the question is, we need to know what's discharging out into that area. This area has been filled, we know, because of the building of Clark Road and, and Highland Road. More than that, it's filled a long time ago. No. Uh, but you can say a lot of it's pretty, the leaves especially were, seems strange to me because the yard's not well, you're landscaped saying, you're, at all. You were saying that, no, it isn't. I mean, it's kind of, these people who live there are pretty old, so I mean, they really right. don't have the ability to right. do right. much of anything. Right. But you're saying that you think that, like, back in this area was, was filled? Yeah, and I think that they're probably the well line should come across like that. I mean, so, all right, so say, say, the, say the wetland line went from flag two, say we just made it go straight across here to this flag 10. I mean, that would yep. just shift this whole thing forward. Yep. I mean, that would make me feel a lot better, and it would also, but we, I think we need to know what's coming out of that pipe. In the whole scheme of things, it's not really going to change much because right. these lines right. are just going to shift forward. It's not going to change bit. much for your project, but in the future, somebody, <clears throat> the elderly people sell the house, somebody else moves there, and now they want to put something out back. We, we should probably have oh, you can't, the, the, no, you can't put anything out back. You, there's, there's, there's nothing you can do well, back you here. Well, you can't say that. You don't know what a future homeowner is going to want to do. I just want to make sure that the wetland line is. Maybe we shouldn't be approving the wetland line. So maybe we should acknowledge the, that that it's you did correct. not approve we the line. Like, we went and, like that. And a, this went from two to ten. Yeah, I like that. Professional did not do the line, so the line is not. I approved. asked the. Uh, I called before I went out and did it. I didn't just go out there and just do it. I called the uh, the uh, agent first, and I. But I, the I, agent doesn't remember going. This is Nancy. No, I went Thursday. I went on no, Thursday. I'm saying before, no, I'm saying she was asking about who flagged it, and I flagged it, and before I even went out there and flagged it, I called, and I said, you know, is it okay for me to do it? And sometimes they're like, no way, you got to have a botanist do it. Okay, oh, fine, oh, get a oh, 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 I see what you mean. But okay. you get, you had said, So you, you know, say a few months ago you called, yeah, you said, can I flag? Yeah. Several months ago. And Anybody can flag a line. So I went out and flagged but it. But if, if, if we don't think it's correct, if John but Pink does that all the time. He's an engineer. He's very familiar with the plants But we do stuff. not have to approve right. the line as shown. Right. And can we approve the If he's the repairing project? the septic, then that's better. That's a good thing. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I did. Did you see the pictures? I don't, yeah. I don't agree with the line. Right. Can we approve the project uh, without approving the line? Sure. Well, it seems to me this is a project yes. that needs to be yeah. done. Yes, yeah. I and agree. That's, that's what I was going to say as well. I mean, it's not like there's another place to put this. Right. You know? So whether the line, it is off, whatever, 10 feet, 20 feet, or whatever, uh, what are the options there? Do we right. make this property a better property for the we environment? Need, we need to know what's coming out of that pipe, too. Oh, yeah, and we absolutely need to know what's coming out of that pipe, whether it should be shut completely removed or whatever it is. Because yeah, if it's a root, if it's, if it's a sub pump, Bob says it can't go into the septic yeah, and, it, and it could easily get pumped yeah. to the side of the yard or somewhere some else. Doesn't, some pump doesn't want to go into it. So right. Nice so like I say, but we just need, we need to know. <laughs> the washing machine does. You're right. Yeah. Then it will be all taken care of. But it's a relatively new looking pipe. I didn't see that pipe. I don't know where, where that yeah, was. It's and right there. That, I mean, that could easily be a condition that, that we don't make a determination on the pipe until, you know, Nancy mm -hmm. gets a chance to figure out what's going on with the pipe. I'm thinking that that could be a roof drain, but I'd, I'd have to I'd have to go there and see it. I mean, just looking at that, it's not really telling and me. It, well, there was that. another old rusty pipe also coming out, but it's been pinched on the end. So they replaced it with that one or something. Yeah. Hmm. Probably. Because I, like I, I think I, I, think I said that to you cool. on, on yeah, the phone. Yeah, you that's did what about they the did. roof drains. I'm that's just having a hard at, time finding that's that's that they, they put it. At my house, the yeah. my the back of my house, the the, the the drain pipe comes down, it goes underground, and then it hits daylight. On the, on the far corner, and there's a, just a little piece of pipe like that. But this out. is an older house, and I'm not saying it's in bad condition. I just, it's hard for me to buy that they well, that put was, in that, a new pipe for well, roof drains on an old house that needs a lot goes, of other stuff. Is it legal to put that into the old septic tank if it is a dry well? That's, I mean, use that as a dry well, the old tank? Is that no, legal? You'd have to ask no, Larry no, yeah, that. No, you don't do, no, what, no, what you do is um, the, the correct way to get rid of uh, stormwater is you would have a dry well. Like say here's your house, you would have them. You're supposed to have them minimum ten feet away, mm -hmm. 
and you're supposed to essentially, you, uh, what you're supposed to do is dig a hole and see where the water table is and all that, and then size the thing accordingly, obviously, to the, according to the size of the roof. And like ideally, you'd have one on each four corner right. of the house in the width to take up 25% of the flow coming off the roof. But, but you're going to be in the buffer zone to do that pretty much everywhere. Well, it's either that or the water comes off, it's going to come off the roof anyway, it's going to go in the gutter and it's going to go down the drain pipe and it's just going to, it's going to flow over land into the, into the wetland anyway. Well, it's, well you have riprap. That's right. what well, riprap's can... for. I mean, that's what you... Yeah, that's going to slow the water down. But right. It's going to, it's going to make and it And it also takes some of the um, siltation out of it if there is any or whatever. Not a whole lot of siltation coming off of the roof. roof. Well, you never know. Old house with... <laughs> no, there's, there's fuzz on the first, roof. First two years. <laughs> of uh, asphalt shingles. A half a lot of gravel comes off the roof. <laughs> but I know this system is gonna be a vast improvement over what they've got now. And that's nobody's fine. denying yeah, that. That's, so the, so that's the key. What I'm, what, yeah. I'm, what I'm asking you then, Nancy, is if I just say I just extend that line and we just get rid of that, and if I just, and, the, and I give you another, make another copy of this, and I shift these, this, this right here is obviously gonna come forward, this is gonna come forward a, a, a small amount, and that's about the only change. You know, if he's going to go and empty it, and every plan that we've ever looked at as well, it always has the existing pit and instructions on that you're going to go there and that's on the other sheets. Fill it. That's on the other. This is just the this is just yeah. the site plan. Just all the, the, all just, the other just to show plan. us and a plan of record that says we're going to. This is the work that's in the buffer zone, and part of the out, the out there to the pit is working the buffer zone. You'll have to put that on the plan of record anyway, at least the 50 foot, and. I would feel better, but I still, I would feel better if that's where the well I'm lining went. But I did not go out there with, I'd rather, I like the idea better of not approving the well I, I think that's the preferred way to go at this point, unless you want to go out and check every flag. Flag, right. Yeah. And, and I, I know where it is if you're not right. approving it. And, and this area, again, because of Clark Road, because of Highland Road, there's fill everywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was used really to dump. Yeah, and you can tell, you can see yep. just about well, how the yard's area been built we, up and then it well, goes off. And you're dug, not going to ask was, them to, to redo it, to pull it out. Well, this area right here, we dug we dug three test holes over here. <coughs> the soil water right here, Lyra was right there. We didn't, we didn't hit any fill. Let me say again, the front. I only see one. We did, we did actually, we did one, we did them like three right in a row. Actually, there's, they're right there. Deep test hole one, deep test hole okay. two, deep test, okay. and, there's the, yep. and the one with the circle is, okay. the, is the perk. Yep. And, uh, so they, I got the log right here, sandy loam. That then, I mean, I know what Phil looks like. Phil, when you see right. Phil, I'm not arguing with what's up there. by the road at all. But then it does come. It definitely drops off. It definitely, I mean, well, that's it just flattens the, out the where you can tell where it's been built up. It flattens out and then it drops off. Like I say, Nancy, I thought the commissioner should take what do you, a look what do you at think it. About hey, Bill, where are they proposing? They're going to propose any or? Well, you'll have to do something because the driveway is washing out right now. I mean, you can see, I don't know, there's a washout yeah. thing right here. So you're going to have to, you'll have to put your siltation barriers up. Plus where he's going to be installing that tank. And, right. the and they're not on the plan either, actually. Yeah, they're not. Mm -hmm. What is right. Silt siltation Where you're, silt you're going gonna to put your aerials and siltation barrier. Your whole project's in the buffer zone, so. It is. Normally, when we look at a plan, it has a siltation barrier on it. So I was concerned that that I couldn't even just we had a hard time distinguishing even the hundred foot, which you didn't color in either. Yeah, what, what this is a circle, and then it goes across. Well, and then this up is there. this plan here was in, was in CAD, and, and I made it into a PDF so I could print it out of Staples. Mm -hmm. and, and when you do that, it, it distorts the, uh, the the line the line type mm -hmm. line weight and the, and the uh, yeah the line type. But you don't have any objections to hay bale in that area. No, I can do that. No, well, for so I mean, uh, the whole the whole point of this was to just do the preliminary analysis. So you're saying, okay, we can move that, shift that line. That's not a big deal. Put the staked hay bale around. So I mean, I would put this. I would start the hay bale, say at that concrete wall, come around here, and then bring it right up like so. And that's, that's right. Uh, but but you can ask the commission when people come to us to want approval. They have those things on their plan. Well, he's not. He's saying he'll put them on for the next meeting. I guess. I mean, these things never get approved the first time around anyway. You were close. Well, it could have. <laughs> yeah, you, were, you were close. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were we were kind of hoping to get I mean, you out of here. They never do. They never do. That's not true at all. We do a yeah, lot of replacement stuff like this for a shot. We're, we're that good. Yeah. <laughs> we're trying to get you out of here. Okay. So. Well. 
I mean, I mean, I can put it on there, and that's what I that's what I said. I can I can put this I can put that twenty five on there, the fifty, and I can put the hay in bales the on there. In the hundred. This actually is the hundred right here, but I, I can color it. No, that's not oh. the hundred. Oh. This okay. is the hundred right oh, here. Oh yeah, there it is right there. Yeah, I was looking at that. I can I can and I, next one in the AutoCAD I'll I'll label it. I'll put the twenty five and the fifty and the hundred. So it goes I'll, like I'll, this, I'll and then it goes yeah. over, yeah. and, and then, then it goes I'll, over. I'll label it's it. I'll label it. So it looks like I'll use a different. You can change that wetland line up there too, but I think still think we're not gonna actually yeah, I think approve yeah, I think it's better just Well, can we it. can we approve this project saying it's contingent upon his determining that that there isn't any uh, uh, there's nothing from the house inside the house coming through that pipe, and that he will put the hay bales, show them on uh, the uh, on the plan that they will be done, uh, but that the line wetland line is not approved. Okay, I we think that's the asking a lot of with, stuff, with, not with knowing what's coming out of that today? pipe. Hmm? No, we, yeah. we no. ask that no, the pipe gets can't. discontinued. Okay. All right. So well, it depends what it is. We need abandon it. Huh? We I, need to continue? Yeah, I think so. I do, too. Well, I think as far as the pipe goes, I mean, it probably should just get abandoned, period. We don't need to know what's coming out of it. Just nothing should be coming out of it. It's too close. If I know. it's roof drain. It's, it's still, I mean, do you want yeah, that going down the river? Yeah, you don't have to have that roof drain coming that far from the house going that close to the wetland. The pump chamber is new, too, right? Yes, so that, that, that's all going to be proposed. 1,500 gallon septic tank pump chamber. You're going to bring your hay bales all the way. Yeah. And you're bringing your hay bales okay. all the way. Hay bales yep. all the way around. Just wrap around yep. like that. Right. Now, we'll where? Know. I'll figure it out. <coughs> all right, Joe had a question. Um, I got photocopies of the white sheets for our budding, your butters, and I have the green cards back. But I don't have an assessor's list, which is usually always part of it. Oh, I, I gave that. I, I Do we have that, that somewhere? I submitted that with the package. A certified? In the, in the certified water. It's almost always here. That's why I was asking. There might be one floating around somewhere. I, I did submit it. Just want to make sure everyone got notified. That's it right there. I don't see it here. Yeah, it's not on our packages. Yeah, I think it's just in there. Do you have it there, Nancy? I'm looking. We have the list of yep. what set. How many are there? I don't have to look at it. I don't have to look at it. How many are there? All right. That's all there are. are. Those are all the names right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. Yep. Good. There were seven mailings. That's what I got. Chairman, are both these gentlemen with the project, or do they have any questions? Oh, he's in the bottom. Okay. But he, but his, um, I'm actually doing that, essentially working with them. With, with their, this is uh, me with uh, RDA. With this existing garage is right here, and it's on the most of the tent. This existing garage here is in pretty sad shape. Anyway, that is going to be raised and removed, and there's going to be a proposed uh, one bedroom, uh, single bedroom module unit put on that at the same exact footprint. As an addition to the house. Again? As an addition to the house. Correct. Yeah, the, the, the current house, the existing house has three bedrooms. Okay. So like I say, what they're going to do is they're going to reconfigure and they're still going to end up having three bedrooms. Okay. This is like for, I believe. But it's going to be attached to the house. house. Yeah, is it, is it going to be attached no, to the house? Gonna be, no, it's going to be just, it's going to be just the way it is now. To do that. But hmm. It's going to be exactly the way it looks now. In other words, if you look down on it, it's going to be the same plan view. It's not going to be, a, it's, in other words, it's not going to be a connection here or anything. It's going to look exactly the way it looks now. So it's going to have its own heating. So you would have to go outside to get to the house from that addition? Certainly. Um, that will be connected. It's an in-law apartment is what it is. Okay. Um, it'll be connected to the house via a covered walkway just on the top, um, which is a requirement of bylaw. Uh, but that is for Mrs. Batten herself. Um, the situation there. And it doesn't, the Conservation Commission isn't. We're not acting on that. Not, 
that's acceptable because I and as no, no, I'm just no. that's yeah, uh, that bothers me a little bit. Before. I'm just filling in. <laughs> uh, do I understand you're in a butter? Yeah. Did you have any questions? So uh, my, my only question is is how you know we our well is in front of our house and, and from what I've seen the uh, the digging that's taking place that doesn't appear to be that far away from my well so I didn't know how that across the street are you across the street yeah. right here. How many feet? You on lot seven? I'm seven. Yeah, it shows on the map on the plan. Um, you know, did you want to see a different plan? This well is here. Is it, uh, is it on the big one? Can we see? Seven. I mean, this goes up here. Oh yeah. Oh, the wow. man-made channel. This is this is a big chunk. There's about a three-foot waterfall there. That runs man-made. About a five foot long fall there, and then it goes under the Christian Mills driveway. And it used to go all the way over until they widened from 140. And now it goes this side of 140 and goes in the trip ashore. Can you come up and just show us on this plan? So he means that you're not lot seven, it's right there. You mean this one right Oh, uh, 140. Well, there is lot seven's right here yeah, next door. The existing house. This is the house where, yeah, that's, yep. you, that's yours, yeah. So the house was house is like here. Mm -hmm. So this is this is a this is a hundred foot radius. Like this. So on the well, I, I drew a hundred foot circle in AutoCAD and I just okay. trimmed it. So this is a hundred feet right here. Mm -hmm. But I think this goes uphill. So it would, I don't know how deep your well is. Yeah, I I, I don't know. Who owns but that would be owns a it. that would be a board of health. I would go to the board of health committee. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm They're the ones that are. Them, so I, that, yeah. that was my only concern. That's good. That's good. <laughs> then we're going to go to the uh, board of health next. Because this new system is obviously going to be. I'll watch everything right now. That's yeah. for sure. And the runoff from the road does. Seem, comes down. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it does come down. So yeah. I, that was. That's the only thing I was worried about. Right, but I would new? go to the board of health. That's not new, but just yeah, just, yeah. just to mention it again to make sure he remembers to put on the on on the new plan that you're going to do to put the um uh, the pit. Uh, that'd be great. Thank you. The um the, the septic um right. the septic pit that's going to be decommissioned. And you you have a your uh, hay bale yeah. lying around like this. Uh, I would just I'm recommend you wherever you're coming in with a machine needs to be. So the hay bale should go around the area where, where he's, where he's going to work. Pit, yes. Yeah, because you Not don't want to have just that. around the pit. He's yeah. got to get to it. Yeah, there's that's gonna, what I mean. Yeah. So, but so yes. it's got to be. Okay. Yeah. So, so wherever you're coming in with machinery uh, and working, you need to. And this is the over. If this is the over dig right here, I'd come out a little right, further with the hay bale lines. was just a hand sketch. It's, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, All right. Okay. I'll, um, I'll rework. Okay. It'll be. It'll be. Yep. I was just going to suggest it, but it's probably not going to happen tonight. Right. Yes. If you do yeah, it and, right, and then make right. a recommendation mm -hmm. for our next meeting. Right. Plus you five seven. Yeah. Seven. So get it to me ahead of time so I can look at the hay bale line and what you've done and so you you don't have to come to only one more meeting. Okay. okay. You know what this one is? Yeah, the uh, that pipe that 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 pipe you have in that picture. I, I didn't see that when I was there, so I don't know what that is either. Okay. I, I don't know. You can work well, out between the two of us, we'll find out, find out what is it is. Is it a four inch diameter pipe? Is that what it is? That's what it looks like. Yeah. Where's the bigger picture? Of the, um, uh, pictures. They're, oh, all there it is. they're all back there. They're all back there. I'd say that's right. two and a half. I'll make a motion. We continue. Yeah, we can't look hell on this picture. Second. Second. Oh, to continue to. To continue to. February 11th. But let me February check. what? I think it's February 11th, but let me just double check. All right. Who is interested in doing a site visit? Directly across the street of. February Give me a call. Yeah. All right. Oh, no, I can't You're going to be going back anyway. Right. All right. February I'll 11th. go back with uh, um, Auger. And February August, August, some of February that. 11, 7 p.m. Soil. Vegetation's one thing, but you know, soils is another. Right. Any more Need discussion? Both. Yeah, but you know what? What you were just saying about that soil thing? Yeah. Is I've done a ton of soil. I'm a soil evaluator. I've done a ton of soil evaluations all over the place, and I've gone in residential neighborhoods. And there's houses, and there's no wetland for miles around. And you found random Seiko Association soils, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've got a B layer. Yeah. And in my house, I've got sand. I've got sand on citrus. Okay. In, my, in my area, I've got sand in the, in the C layer. So what happens is the rain and the snow lands on the surface, 
and it perks like 10, 15 minutes an inch through the A and the B, really slow, it's a sandy loam. And what happens is when the water reaches the, the sand, which has a larger void space, yeah. the water drops and leaves behind a mineral content. And an inexperienced soil bag, they're gonna dig and see that, see that redox? Yep. And say, oh, yep. that's the groundwater. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. No. But yeah. if you take an auger and you auger, you just, which is only like a two inch diameter bit, you auger down and you pull that out, oh, you see oh, that's the wetland. Well, no, it isn't. No. No. Like, like Dr. Fletcher says, you got to take your head out of the hole and you got to look around. <laughs> yes. So well, you can explain that to him more on that yes, day. Yes, that's, <laughs> that's one of Peter's sayings. Yeah. Right, we have a motion and a second. All no, we there. didn't. I didn't get what it's continued the to. The 11th. February 11th, 7 p.m. Okay. Everybody good? Yep. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Right out there. You know, it's, it, soil evaluation is a real art for yeah. yeah. A lot of things can fool you. Yeah. Right, and you can take all the classes. Like I took all the BM yeah. fern classes. Yeah. Did I say BM on cable? Took all the fern classes, and then I'm looking at that fern. I'm going crazy. So you don't do it it's all free. the time. It's hard. It's very hard, yeah. Up so so the 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 oh, yeah, we got to get oh, a gotta go better watch. angle. On this here. This is um, you don't have called Legacy, seating? and this is the film that was made by NACC for their 50th anniversary, which was what about five years before ours. It's from 2007, and this is. I don't want to shut them off because I might shut the wrong one off. Well, we'd like to show us the open house. No Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <coughs> How's that? Good. Is that enough? Perfect. <laughs> now it says just press, just press play. It looks really good. Yeah. Looks like the ocean in the background. <laughs> Hybrid mix of forests, mountains, wetlands, and waterways, beaches, dunes, marshes, and shoreline. Those of us who are lucky enough to live here treasure this abundance of natural resources. Yet every day in Massachusetts, 40 acres of land is developed. Who will keep this precious legacy from disappearing? Who will ensure that development will not compromise environmental quality? The answer is, to a large extent, our neighbors, people like you and me, who volunteer their time on local conservation commissions. Looks much better on the widescreen at the senior center. Massachusetts oh. passed the Conservation Commission Act in 1957 from that date forward, conservation commissions were created in every city and town in the state, 351 of them, and what they've achieved is truly amazing. We've protected over 200,000 acres of open space all across the state. Conservation commissions also regulate development in and near wetlands under the State Wetlands Protection Act to ensure that when development occurs near sensitive resource areas like rivers, that it doesn't damage those resource areas. Well, conservation commissions um, are in charge of protecting open spaces like we have here, conservation lands that people can enjoy. They're also in charge of making sure that we're watching over development and making sure development is done in such a way as to protect our water supplies, our air quality, and our lakes and ponds. Conservation commissioners are unpaid volunteers. Uh, they uh, give up their evenings, they often give up their daytimes and weekends as well for this effort. We owe them a debt of gratitude. Commissioners not only protect under the law wetlands and water bodies and flood prone areas, through their powers of persuasion, they're advocates for local open space, forest, farmland, as well as uh, historic preservation. 
river fronts, river edges, streams, ponds, and flood prone areas. All these are important to people, and yet individually, even the worthiest human beings always want to build something. It's not enough to issue a permit. Somebody's got to go out and find out what's actually happening. If conservation conditions didn't exist, we would not have an acre of salt marsh left in this state. And roads have to get built, and houses have to get built, and so on. And the commission's job is to keep them away from sensitive wetland areas. Well, environmental regulations, both at the state and local level, really have a huge impact on the quality of life. Everything from recreational opportunities, to the clean water that we have, to the clean air that we breathe day in and day out. Conservation commissions have an important job to make sure that growth is channeled in the appropriate places. I think it's fair to say that conservation commissions are not opposed to growth or economic development. In fact, I think most of us encourage it. It's just the making sure it's done in a proper way in the right places. Any chance you run into a person who's a conservation commission, a member or agent, uh, you should tap them on the shoulder and say thanks. Your local conservation commission administrators and commissioners maintain a difficult balance, shaping economic development in a way that protects the environment, ensuring pure air to breathe and clean water to drink, and preventing storm and flood damage to our homes and businesses. In the process, natural areas and the wildlife flourishing there are protected, ensuring that Massachusetts remains vibrant and beautiful. I think that it's critically important for the growth and development of children, for the health of a society generally, to have natural places to grow up in, to play in, to recreate in, not in little packages that you get in your car and drive to, but in larger, unfragmented places where you can walk to or go to and walk around in and be part of. I work for the Massachusetts Association of Conservation Commissions, MACC, and it's our job to support and train conservation commissions throughout the state. We have an environmental handbook, a telephone helpline, core curriculum of eight unit courses, workshops, a website, and we're there to support conservation commissions in your community. We also work hard to make sure that environmental laws and regulations are strong and science-based. You can help support the Massachusetts Association of Conservation Commissions because we in turn provide critical training and assistance to all commissions in the state, but you can also support your commission locally by joining the commission at town meeting and simply by becoming better informed about the work of the Conservation Commission in your community. I served on the Conservation Commission for 18 years. I've been volunteering on the MACC board for 30 years and I've twice served as president. It's the most exciting pro bono work that I do. And places like the Grove wouldn't be protected had not Conservation Commissions planned for it and made sure that areas like this are being protected for the enjoyment of, of its residents and the Commonwealth. All of these mountains and steep slopes and the wetlands that you see here are protected by conservation commissions and I'm very proud to be on one of them. In Massachusetts, we value the natural environment we live in and will leave to our children and grandchildren. Our conservation commissions have led the way to maintain a balance between economic development and preservation of natural areas, and we are proud of our half century of accomplishments. But the truth is, our work will be even more important in the future. Most easily developed land is already gone, and new development is pushing ever closer to wetlands, rivers, lakes, and the ocean. We will all need to work harder and harder to maintain a healthy, clean environment in Massachusetts to protect our precious legacy.
planning on keeping that running? Was I? Why did I? No, no, I mean on the 28th of the loop. No. Depend. You know what I've usually done before is like when there's a, a, a people, a little group of people. Play it. Play it, and it will be on that far side of the room. Whereas, okay. like Sarah and her table and all the posters. Jim, will you turn the lights back up again, please? Um, these are some examples of some of the posters we want to put up on the wall. Um, like a historic perspective <coughs> that we've lost one third of wetlands since colonial times. Um, and because we're concerned about this, that's where the Wetland Protection Act came from. Why protect wetlands? Um, the law. And these will be in the other big room so that the is far enough away that we can do it. Wetlands are common well. Um, wetlands are not wastelands. And I figure once we have them up on the wall that we'll have this in a packet underneath so people can look and if they're really interested in the information they can pick it up. Did everybody see how the brochure came out um, when I showed my talk the brochure? You're not telling them what they have to do. So we're also, Jennifer and I are also going to work on, like Jennifer did during the flood, she wrote a letter of how you actually, what an RDA is, what an NOI is, and how that process works. And we're going to add that also. And then we have a little bit about the eight interests of the acts. Flood control. This one I thought was pretty important about flood control since we've had this problem locally and when it affects people there who are interested. Um, like I say, the eight interests of the acts, and I'll put this at the end anyway, even though it doesn't pertain to us, although it does because we do have yeah. endangered muscles actually in that form, but, and I'm not sure about long pond. Um, so this is, we're going to get some foam pork and uh, glue these on there. Like I said, we'll just have them up. We'll be talking about them. And there is one that does. So we're going to do one that talks a little bit more about a bylaw. This one here. In addition, some communities have their own wetlands protection bylaws. And I think on the invitation, which if everybody will take the, um, take the invitations, and if you want to distribute them to someone, I'm going to put them up at um, like the senior center, the library. I email Long Pond Association an invitation. The invitation is on cable as we speak. It's on the Rolling Community Board. And it is going to be in the middle of our gazette this Thursday and the next Thursday. So two Thursdays in two different places in the middle of our gazette. Tracy's going to put it up on the Community Bulletin Board at the Old Town Hall. We've, I've invited out the yeah. selectmen. I've invited... Um, uh, Tracy actually sent out the invitation to all the different committees and whatever. I can say Long Pond Association. And anybody yeah, else you can think of. How about the EP? Do I have to? I will. No, I will. <laughs> anybody else? Yeah. Yeah, you can have a table if you want. Um, Sarah's going to have a table about vigors. So even if it is. And I brought the frames. Even the ones that brought, aren't colored in. I think they're in the box. Would you like my article? Sure, yes. Any, bring everything. There's plenty of tables at the senior center. You can have your own little table. Great. I'll want a couple so that you can How pass we, them out. Can we, just the colors? You don't want us photocopying them. We want, if we want to put up more, can we get so more colors? So let me know. we got a color copy machine. I'm not using Great. ours. I'm using them on Good. Sarah's face. The school should be photographs from Vigors. Who don't have any ink? <laughs> Actually, I'll show you. Our measly color print test. I think later. 
it does, it does print good. It looks almost you know, like it came from a... That is professional. Yeah. That one's sure. professional. This one is too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah this one's not. That's off the printer. Yeah. Downstairs, that's professional. Yeah. That was printed. Yeah. 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 I just didn't right. know that I took there. I didn't know if you... But, but a regular copy could print that. Thank you. I would if love you got the right paper. If you got the right paper, it would take a copy. Really? I have all kinds of... It's not our copy. It's one downstairs. I have proposed kiosk. So this is not done to the match yet. Um, anybody wants me to email them these things that to look at? If you, I would appreciate that. And if anybody has any suggestions, I'm going to give you a deadline because we have. To, I have to get them done. What yeah, is your I, deadline? I was wondering if they should. If you're going no, to be I putting mean them, this, then I'm going to put up on the wall. So if you you're going to do whatever you want with your table. No, what's your deadline for reviewing? Yes, that. I will let you know tomorrow. Good. Nancy, if you're going to put, put that on a whiteboard. No black. Oh, you've got a black. Okay, you got black boards. I was going to say it might be a little too much white. No, to, black. Okay. Actually, I'm trying to lift them. The old downstairs in the conference room, they're the ones from LeBaron. A lot, there's a lot of old stuff down there. Trying to get them over there. Yeah, yeah, but Rita's like, oh, well, that was the original one. So if I can't get, if I can't sell uh, them, it's $3 and they fit, yeah, for, it fits yeah. four. I'll just go get them. So. They're on okay. sale, she said, at somewhere. Target. Target. Yep. I had some white ones. I got a bunch of white ones. Don't use your credit card. Jennifer and I are going to go set it all up. We both, we'll both work that Monday before and we'll go set it all up. It's being so. So, so, how so does everybody feel about the movie? Fine. It's good. Fine. Why reinvent yeah, the wheel? Yeah, right. Yeah. You're still doing your, your slide. It's good ten years. Ago. It's kind of like, well, it's, who? it's promoting I mean, conservation. Uh, my concern is that I'd like to see more of Lakeville. And I thought, I thought Ryan was going to be doing his slideshow where you can see something that you can relate to. This Mike's is going to do that, right? Mike, what do you mean, Mike's going to do what? No. Pictures. <laughs> I've got pictures, but what do you? I, I'm not so sure what you want. Well, you can take. You can have this hook up. No. I, I can play the video on. I can on the widescreen TV, it goes oh. right in the TV at the senior center. I already she tried can, it you out. Can, can I make a proposal? Sure. I could just run out because I need to do this anyway if I want to do this forever take a picture of every single park from the scenic view and bring it to you on Monday, see what you think, or send the pictures through the group in email. Well, you know, I have, you can use the pictures I've already got, too. You know, I did take they pictures. they got to be on CD, for, right? For the booth at the fair. You to play I it? I took pictures at the can't be on a computer. I do, I do indeed. I've got several. Show for those. But we need to see, I'd like to yeah. see scenes of Lakeville. I mean, Lakeville is what we're, we're attempting well, to protect. Are, they are Lakeville. And, like and what's part. going to, I think, hopefully inspire people to to work with us. But how do you, uh, what kind of a presentation are... are the, the DV player might be able to read a CD with full of photos. So you just might be able to press play and... Change right. it out after the film. Yeah, exactly. But well, you have them we already burned. About just constantly having having oh, um, photos projected, you like know, through the whole yeah, the through loop. the whole yeah, just yeah. not no no words, like nothing. Well, that's what we had discussed have. doing. I what do you mean where at, at the uh, presentation? I'm, I'm not quite visualizing this. I mean, I have my pic I have pictures on a CD, but they're, they're random. But Which they is are. what we would be looking yeah, for. Yeah, I think it's more after they play the video, just. Put a DVD and just press play, and then on that screen. Yeah, when the, the DVD is not the rest, playing, uh, you put in the pictures to it so that it's, there's always. Yeah, well, just, uh, does anyone? Do you have one of those picture frame things? They could just you, run. You mean like a little one like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have one. And run pictures through that, and leave the DVD yeah. going. They're kind of small. But I mean, they're going to be. It's going to be pretty informal walking around. I can keep with. You can put it on the computer. They have to be on the different medium. I have one too. What size? It's the, the piece is about like that. Oh, eight by ten. Oh, I just, I'm is sorry. I think projecting them a, is, a, is a, definitely a, a far better than looking at something on a small screen. I'm sorry. But someone's going to have to change it out and all that. Not if you just have, if you have, a, if you have it running through like 50 slides. I could put a disc Just have it running through. The no, but, you see it all the time. no, but then you got to take that one out and put this one in. Because this is going to be running on the same TV. I should start with well, I'm not USB suggesting we run it on a TV. There must be screens available at the at the senior center. I can ask. I mean, I, I can actually rent equipment um, during the week. I could ask. With the I mean, I have a screen well, that I could bring. Cost, but if anything. it's on a CD, you can run that around them and take yeah, it out and just put back. this in, and you can do both. I've said that all along. You can do both. I don't think one. I don't think they would fight each other because one has sound and that's very attention grabbing. The other one's quiet and it's going to fall into the background like wallpaper. You're not going to be distracted from the video by slow-moving pictures that are fading in and out quietly in the background. It's just going to look like a white wall. 
I don't think it'll be distracting right. and at you all. Can right. every, yeah. We're going to have it from, what, 7 to 9. So, you know, depending if people change every half hour or so, you can play seven minutes. It's I only seven people, minutes. I think people will take a look at the pictures and see if they recognize that it's in the important piece. Absolutely. Be that. Be fun. Yeah, I have no problem. But somebody needs to do it. That's the problem in everything. Well, if I understand, if I understand, Ryan was. Yeah, and I like. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I understand. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
second reading. Oh, okay. I'm just going to have to pay dollars. Folders. We got new folders. Do we need a motion to pay? Yeah. Um, I don't know. No. no. I, don't, I think we just have to sign them. Just sign them. Sign away. And if anybody wants to bring goodies, that's fine. But I'm going to make goodies and I'm going to make the coffee. We gonna, the coffee? We're going to have a, like, water. lemonade, water, something like water. that. Yeah. Water and coffee. Caffeinated or decaffeinated. Um, well, I do high test. I'm not good. If somebody wants to, to do decaf, they can. What's I'm that? I'm not good on decaf. Oh. I don't believe decaf. it. Decaf, what's the I point? <laughs> <laughs> 7 o'clock at night, though. I could put water on the I, Yeah, I would do decaf. I stay up you all don't night. Do decaf? I got one for my dog for first. I can't do it. coffee from something's growing, and I ordered our decaf. I could drink coffee. 10 cups of coffee over the wrong day. She was like, like this. <laughs> like, she talked <laughs> for three and a half hours <laughs> nonstop all the way to Maine. I was like, oh, my God. She, was on a high. she goes, I think I, I think I can <laughs> I'm like, I think you might have. <laughs> like, you literally are almost shaking. <laughs> I'm going to send so out one thing. So much coffee, and they always and order it. The plan is on the That literally, yeah. they have to lie down when they get the hot. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going. You know, I know. You're addicted to it. If you try to go cold turkey, the headache. It's a headache. The headache is a killer. She gets withdrawal headaches. You know what, though? Even if you drink, like I drink usually like one caffeinated beverage or maybe two in a whole day. Yeah. And I'll have a killer headache the next day if I don't. Yeah. Doesn't bother me one way or the other. Yep. I get a nice head. I get a nasty headache. Which is actually a part of these so days, when somebody comes in with all these sort of non specific problems, they don't feel well. I mean, they, they do two things in. they find out your caffeine well, intake and, and, and they find out your gluten intake. Really? Oh, so the gluten thing, yeah. A lot there's of people. a lot of people, you, you, they, they, they can't find what's wrong with them. Yeah, a more or less gluten free diet for a couple of weeks. Yeah. 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 See well, what, what is that? What is the actual allergy? Motion to adjourn. Oh, wait, hit it. Oh, is your motion to a second? <laughs> is that, is that, do we have anything else on our agenda? No, that was no, it. That was oh, it. That was it. Oh, sorry. I, I just wanted to. Yeah, because you, you had a thing on Vigors, you yeah. said, right? It's this is the thing you emailed us, right? I just want to make sure everyone's okay with this because there's a um, We probably. And it's from the plan. We're not posted. These, these are. Very, very rough. Um, first of all, there's this friends group mission that came out of the plan. And then there's a second page which is about what we're looking for from the friends, which is also out of the plan. So both these typewritten pages have already been approved. Then um, there was discussion about having a map with pictures, the things that people could sign up for. So Lynn and I were just talking about this. What I did was this is a really, really rough sketch, but I thought a big. I, I, what, can we just stop for a minute? Yeah, yeah this is. This is not on the it's agenda. It's not posted, so. But okay, don't talk about. No, no, by law, we're but not supposed to. This is. We're not talking about anything. The open house. She's discussing the open her display. House. This is for the open house. Right. So then I'd be happy to listen at the open house. No, no. Like this is what she's pre preparing I'm, for the table I'm, at the open house. I'm taking okay. this like yours? and I'm blowing it up into a big map. Okay. And I don't want to do a drawing on a large scale with a lot of effort if people are going to say change it because they want to change it. So I was just talking with Linda and she said, this is based on the map from the assessor's office. I'm mm -hmm. going to trace it, make it look like a hand drawn, like an old fashioned map and put on the things, a list of things that people can sign up for that we need help with, um, which they may or might not sign up for. They, they'll volunteer later as we, as we call on out for volunteers, but this gives them an idea of what we're looking for at this park. Hey, and Linda suggested that we add more features in, which are already in the map, but just draw in the, the water. It's a very couple more features. But I'm, I'm trying to keep it really simple and graphic and based on this. Um, the, uh, 
original mapping work that happened there last year is based on, let's see if I can find this now. Um, we were going with a map motif where it's, it's, it's based on play and children and map making in excess. So I thought if we could mimic that in these maps, we would start to tie it in together. And then here's a picture of a kiosk, the traditional standard kiosk. So maybe we could have a picture of this just to give people an idea. This is the kind of thing we're looking for. Is this, is this all relevant to the open house? Yeah, it is. It's all I mean, on the table. For her display. For the display. A picture of what the children might do there and a picture of children playing in the woods. Not a lot of pictures, just two or three pictures to get the point across, as well as some of the events. This was what happened in the fall at the library. We're trying to mimic this in the spring at Vigors. So just do something like this, but instead it's got the Friends of Vigors and the date in there. But we haven't really signed off on any of this, so I want to make it a generic, um, like a mock-up, like this could be the spring event. You can sign up to volunteer for that. Because we don't have the concrete details yet, what I'm looking for from you is it okay to do something like a templated model. This is what we would do at Vickers. Would you sign up to help prepare for this, this type of thing? We need people to pull up poison ivy or work with people that can handle poison ivy. There was somebody that came to the abutters meeting that said, I would love to work with help me with invasives. It was fantastic. So when we have these opportunities, somebody just signed up to do um, PAPS. They said, I'd love to help with PAPS. So if we just give them a picture that they can identify with, even if it's not the final thing, it gets them saying, oh, ah, excited, I want to help with that. So that's why I'm thinking these pictures are important to start to get across the feel of what we're trying to do there and the idea that nothing can happen until we have the signs up, the poison ivy under control, the parking issues worked out, the building secured, all those things will come but they're not just gonna sign up to work if they're not excited about it. So if we give them a picture to say, oh, that's the kind of thing I wanna help with, then it gets them going, which is also why this idea is just to show the reason why you want to help this park is because it's two miles from the library and it's a mile from the Ted Williams camp. You can start to plan your day. If you just have an afternoon, a couple of hours, you can go here, you can go there, you can do this, you can help that. If you need a bathroom, you can run back here. If your child's at soccer, you can run over here and do this. And I'm just trying to get the idea that this is all really connected very closely in time and space for the parents that maybe just have a, a half an hour to do something. They can run over there and have lunch and run back to the library. So that's what this is about. Yeah, this one. This is what about. So can that's I just, all. Can I say something? Yes, that's why I'm here. I, totally trust you to set up a table about vigors. You know more about it than anyone except maybe Linda. I am totally confident that you're going to be enthusiastic and you're going to stay at that table and you're going to be saying all what you just said to us, that everybody comes by there and I think it's wonderful. Thank you. I just want to make sure that everybody has a chance. We're all, we're big on group review and approval and I don't want to have put something up and put it with you. Well, you're not putting you a specific thing. You're right. putting ideas out ideas. there and that's, I think that's rough, I think that's ideas, great. And I don't want it to be a surprise. I don't want anybody upset because they, they didn't have input. I want everybody to email me and say, I don't think this is going to work. I think you need to change mm -hmm. that. I, my entire education is based on critiqued. I don't want to hear nice. I want to hear constructive criticism. So I'm giving you copies of these. If during the week you look at it and say, like Linda just said to me, she said, I want to see the cemetery on that. I want to see the water on that. I thought, gee, I didn't think about doing that because I was just doing it for the things that they sign up for. But I see her point, and I'll add it in now. Rather hear it now or through email during the week than the day of the meeting when I can't change the poster. Can That's all. So I don't mean to take up more time, but. I'm very sensitive to um, everybody having a chance to mm -hmm. steer. And I, I will just say that we do have an outreach plan and we do have a stewardship plan that was approved by the commission months ago. And all that we're trying to do is keep things moving there. And it just seems to me that we constantly keep running into 
rethinking or rethoughts on what I thought we'd already agreed on, and it's it's really becoming very discouraging to me, like the hunting situation and. Yeah, but you know that's democracy. I mean, I'm, we're fortunate we have that. But uh, I have to say, there's one thing I won't comment on email on things because I don't want to be involved with the consensus oh, of how private. This was done in a meeting. No, this I know, but not, I I'm but we just better be very done. careful about that. Yeah. About absolutely. You know, it was all, it was comments approved at a meeting, stuff. so um, yeah. As was the vote to to um, no longer allow hunting. We actually voted, and it's recorded in the minutes that we voted to for no hunting. And now the only question is whether or not we post the property. And that is for another meeting. But we have already, I would suggest, if, if you don't remember what the outreach plan says and what the stewardship plan says, that you, you go onto the town website or talk with Jen about getting a copy so that We're that gonna have it available it. at the open house. The only thing is, there's only a draft of the, um, I looked before I came tonight, there's only a draft of the, um, I have, I brought copies uh, and I emailed it. If I have it electronically, don't, I, I will do it on the, at the copy machine at the town hall so that there, the, the plan. Yep. Yeah, you have the stewardship uh, plan there. Plan. I mean the smaller one that's seven outreach. pages long, the outreach, the outreach plan. That's what we'll have. And I'll have a couple of the other ones too in case somebody's really interested and really wants to see the forest It was all plan. approved yeah. before it went right. to the state and it has gone to the state. So I mean, it, we, we, as far as I'm concerned, it's on record. Right, I don't think I don't anybody's- I know what she's talking about. I don't think anybody's- It may have happened before you were right, on that's the Right, that's why I'm, I'm kind of a little- It's gonna be on the agenda for our next uh, business meeting yeah. so we can discuss it in, in depth then. Yeah, and anything that you want to present and you're not sure, just put a put right draft on it. You know, a note of draft. That way, it just covers everybody. Nothing's been decided on it, and it's just, I mean, this this is all nice stuff. I like it. And We're not voting on it tonight, obviously, right. because it's something you guys are working these on. These are all time. Sarah's ideas, and sure. she's very enthusiastic. Right. And that's what the open house is about: is to talk about ideas <coughs> for the well, future. I, I, how can I say this correctly? I am very very, very passionate about the Conservation Commission, and I would like the Conservation Commission to be behind some of these programs that I have started with this in mind, but I've had to work kind of in a roundabout way in order to make things happen for us when we we're ready. For instance, in April, complete independent but related to the essence of Vickers we have international play workers coming over because of the work at Vickers I went to see a play worker in Rhode Island who's written the curriculum for play workers with the International Play Association all over the world their people are coming here to Ted Williams camp to give a presentation in April they are working with loose parts I asked them to integrate play and nature hoping that we could connect it to an event in the spring with Vigors, which we're already started to do. But because this event is already hard-coded into the schedule now of Ted Williams Camp and it's happening, I'd like an opportunity to present it to Conservation Commission and say, I wish we could take ownership of this and connect this to Vigors, because this should be a Friends of Vigors. This should be a partner to the Friends of Vigors Park because they're dealing with the idea of getting children out in nature and what are children's perspectives on nature. People are hearing about this because the advertising has to start happening now. It's on a website for this group that's on a, on a tour across the country. It's a big deal that it's happening in Lakeville. If I wait to the next Conservation Commission meeting, it's happening after the open space and I can't tie it to Vickers. So this is, these are things that I want to be able to put in front of people and say, can we connect this idea? We talked about Vigors being a place for a play movement out in nature. This supports that. This currently is hanging out there attached to nothing. Can we attach this as a friend of Vigors through a partnership and after, program? And what you would do is ask the chair to be put on the agenda. You want to make a presentation, mm -hmm. ask for a formal vote. And however it goes, it goes, and that's how it works. I mean, yep, we did. At I but did. I mean, at it, the moment, I we asked. have formally approved as a commission to have play events at Vickers. Mm -hmm. We have formally approved that the Friends of Vickers are partners that work towards supporting the park. So 
but we're doing is tying friends to the park that will do things for the park. Um, I currently am in the middle of this. I have these dilemmas where it's one thing if I bring somebody in like the wilderness group, the archery group or whoever to come in and do an event as a friend to Vigors. It's another thing if I'm creating it myself. Can I be a friend of Vigors? If I'm in Vigors, that creates a problem. I would hope that, that this could just become a partner to a friend of Vigors, even though I'm putting it together myself. Does that make sense? I, it's very important to me that this event is tied to the event at Vickers in the spring. And I don't know how to do that for the open house other than just to say, this is happening at Tell Williams Camp and this is happening at Vickers and let people put it together in their minds. Unless you're willing to say that these two, these two events can become Yes, that's tied. not something we can vote on now. Right. Not, so we have to go through. I, it it doesn't sound like something we really have to vote on, does it? Well, we, we remember I, I we were no. at we last, last meeting, I handed out so the sheets for rules and regulations. On. We've never, never adopted rules and regulations for Vickers. I had asked that people bring them back so that we could, we could reach an agreement on what size groups can we handle at the park? What do we do about additional parking if we need additional parking? Um, well, I think we're getting to that point, but my point is, I don't know if we really have a friends group, like a library has a friends group and people do things. When you do things with the um, group at Betty's Neck, when you, when you have events, you, you bring them forward as part of that group. You don't really need to have a... No, it used to be teams, yeah, she brings but it forward herself. Self. <laughs> okay. So my question is, what can the friend, what has this board determined? that the Friends of Vigorous group can do based on all of the documentation that we've approved so far. But yeah, I don't want to, I don't think that the board wants to have to be approving every event that's happening there. We need yeah. a, like a- like Rules a, and regulations. Yeah, rules and regulations. So that would, so that would be So bring them and we'll thing. vote right. and you'll vote on it. I did hand out the document last, last, at our last meeting and asked that people fill it out and bring it back. Um, that's, it's, it's in okay, the MACC handbook. Both have done so much work, isn't it as easy as presenting it to the and just getting just getting the blessing of the board yeah. to go forward. Bring it I mean, to the board and we'll but it does have to be formal. Vote on it. Okay, so for now, I have a half a dozen things that are not that are kind of hanging out there that will not be presented as a vigorous um, friends of vigorous event, but I will put the idea out there um, abstractly. And not tie well, get your name, get your list. Yeah. Right. And here, yeah. 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 sign nothing. up, and we'll call you when it happens, and yeah. get the rules and regulations to the February meeting, so that the commission can vote on it, and then you can have your events. You don't have to come back here every time right. for every event. Right. As long as it falls do. within the rules and regulations, you're all set. Okay. Well, I think I'm there. Uh, I need to clarify that because I, I, I think that we have this event. And we're basing it on this other thing that's going on at Ted Williams. And right, don't but don't put the cart before the horse. You need right. the rules and regulations. The commission votes, and then you're on your way. Yeah. Okay. And that will be at the meeting, the first meeting in February that we will discuss that, or do we have to that, wait until the? You you have to wait till the chair decides he's going to put it on. It's up to the chair to decide. He just he yeah. does the agenda. So I am. I so am, and I'm not putting him on the spot, but I mean we we. I will. <laughs> we can't tell the chair what to put on the agenda. We'll it was put on for this meeting, and I was told no. And, and so, I'm you know to, it takes a lot. It takes time to prepare to bring something to this commission, whether anybody wishes to believe it or not. I do a lot yeah. of, of. Linda, if you had a one-page rules of how you want to, how the friends of Vegas want to vote on things, just present that. You know what I mean? You want me to develop no, I'm the saying if, regulations if you, and, and give them to you for approval. Exactly. Just a one-page, simple thing. Just tell me when you want it and well, I will. Yeah. We, we, as Friends of Vigors, we are operating as a prototype group. We are not open. We are not opening up to public events yet until we've got the hunting worked out, the parking lot, the, everything that we did. And I've yeah. talked about, about what we need to do to be ready as a town to invite other groups to come in and do events there. So we prototype, Jen and I talked about developing the policy, Jen, Jen called and we had a long conversation about the fact that there needs policies and procedures. Linda at the same open space conference 
There's a whole bunch of things that have to be worked out before it's ready. But the Friends of Vigors runs as a prototype, as a forerunner to test everything and work out the kinks and identify, here's a problem with parking. Here's a problem with traffic. Yeah, but here's a before you even get there, yeah. I, I think we've gone beyond. <laughs> beyond, okay. We're, we're outside the scope of our, um, <clears throat> our uh, intent here. Okay. And I think it's, it's inappropriate okay. to consider to continue discussing Vigors. So let's cut off. We have a motion and we have a second. All those in favor of, of adjourning? Do I make the motion, please? I made the motion to adjourn. So, so I'm oh, second. Okay. Right. Well, we're still on the floor. Thank you for answering my question because now I know whether or not whether or not I can put that up or not. So I'll put it up I'll, in a very I'll, different way. Okay. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye.